Before we actually skin our fish, there's one decision that we'll need to make, and that's where to make our incision on our bass for the mannequin that we're The only tools that we're going to need today is just a good pair of scissors. Uh, I'm going to be using a pair of kitchen shears to cut through some uh, bone and cartilage. I've got a little modeling tool with a hook on the end that I'll use to scrape some meat. Uh, a crochet type hook. I pulled our bass out of our preservative solution and I hung it up and allowed it to drain for a few minutes. But I want to let you know the techniques that we're going to be using today, you can also use them on other fish as well. Uh, so let me go ahead and go over the tools that we're going to be using today and we'll start mounting our And I'm going to add, prime, I want to make sure I get some around these fin roots. And I'll just take and kind of sprinkle it in and then I'll rub it just a moment. But anywhere that there was a little meat before, I want to make sure I get some in there. And the technique I like to use, and the reason I like a spoon, is because it's kind of got curved end on one side. But I'll get the mache in there, and I'll pack it down with the spoon. And then I'll use the spoon to smooth and make a nice transition from the mache to the skin. I'm going to slide the head in, get the tail in place. The throat latch area that you see here, I'm going to get that skin in place. And then we just work our way around our body. Just come down here, get this in place. Leaving this area a little lighter, and then I'm going to go ahead and darken up just a little bit of the areas we've already painted. Bit of work around the uh, mouth. Got to darken up this area right through also here. Also gone ahead and attached our bass to a really nice piece of driftwood, and I added some lily pads to give it a little interest.